The next has to do with snap lines, and you saw me use snap lines there. Sometimes snap lines are good, and sometimes snap lines get in the way. We're going to turn a few things off here so that we can see things really nicely. And I'm going to point out that what we have got is an auto diverter here. And this is used to control how things happen. Some people would look at this as a summer winter kind of thing, but they wanted this to allow either outside air in or from this unit. This goes way back to fans and, and stuff in the back. And you can see this was drawn on. And if I show this in a very specific way, point, you can see that it's this trunk is lined up perfectly with our axes. So drawing that particular little elbow at the bottom to connect to that diverter was very easy. Let me show you what the problem is over here. I'm going to click draw, select there, and I'm just for the purposes of this, I'm going to disable the snap, which you do with the S button. It either enables or disables. And we want that 45 degree elbow, so I'm going to select that here. Okay. But the problem is look where those guidelines go. They're following our standard axis. Okay. So I'm going to have to use my protractor and select that it's going to go right along there. Well, if we enable these snaps, watch what might happen here because we've got a lot of crowded stuff going on. As I try to come down, notice I've got snap lines jumping all over the place. And in fact, it grabs it and shoves it not just down, but over slightly, so it's not really correct. Okay, so once again, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to show you that if I am going to be drawing or if I have anything selected in edit mode, I can come down here and using the S, I can disable or once it's disabled, I can enable snap lines again. That will allow me to do what I needed to do, a 45 degree using that. Okay, and then I can go right to where I need it to be and everything is great. And if you think things are kind of tight there, imagine, because I have done these before, this is actually a pretty spread out situation, but imagine if there were 98 drops within the same area that you see here. And trust me, I've, I've had that situation you really have to remember to jump in and out and turn on and off those snap lines because they can in fact pull your work out of kilter and then it gets to be really difficult to get things to connect. <laughs>